something like the start being everyone on their phone going, geez, I gotta get ready for this in some way, or there's all these other things <laughs> I to do. I heard this, uh, someone called it the Tablet Society. The Tablet Society, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sounds That's true. Right. It's like at some point, you know, it's these these aren't going to be far from each other. It's sort of like, you know, kind of like <laughs> I feel like the um, way that the way that we walk dogs, like in a hundred years, our phones are going to walk us. We're going to be the pets of our phones because we we hold it uh -huh. around. But well, you seen all the people with the magnets on their bodies and stuff. Apparently, they've been like spraying this shit on us for so long that we're magnet. We're all just like nano technology now, anyway. And now that the chips they put in the vaccine is like the final, like, you know, the Bluetooth upgrade, you get your, you get upgraded into the system. And we, and we get yeah. to all watch this happen. There's going to be no need for those things anymore. It's all going to be built in. We'll be like those Zionists, you know, the, like in the matrix we will be like all natural born in Zion. <laughs> the last of our kind last of our kind oh god we laugh eh we laugh but it's, it's actually really fucking crazy oh like it's like how else do you do it <laughs> you have to laugh that's the only thing you can do now i to take it seriously is is i think the the doorway to insanity like there has to be some there's got to be some cosmic joke going on yeah yeah it's like, I think it could be that the way out is so easy. It's so simple, but the humor is that, you know, we don't quite got it. You know, we're, we're, we think it's very complicated when it's actually very simple. It's super simple. Yeah. It's just, you know, eat lots of mushrooms and smoke DMT. <laughs> <laughs> just take a little ketamine and everything's fine. Ketamine yeah. now and again. Yeah. Just don't overdo it with the ketamine. <laughs> what was it uh something about those drugs it said stay away from the addictive ones and, and try the psychedelic ones <laughs> oh skip the addictive ones go straight to the plant medicines <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah so in in terms of the uh spirit hacks um do you i've got quite a bit i think to download but why don't you go first in terms of of stating kind of uh what it Anyway, whatever you want to say to me in terms of to build contacts for me coming into what you have, mm -hmm. uh, sound and so. Okay, so yeah, where we're at right now is we've, you know, we've got the platform and we've been putting some content up there. We feel it's a bit willy nilly as far as like, you know, establishing ourselves with a certain level of like production value and content. And so um, one of the things that we, we would love to see moving forward is to actually, you know, work with some, some content creators to create um, really nice sort of like one to two minute videos, intros to each of the circles and each of the groups so that there's a, you know, a nice consistent content um, inside of the circles and inside of the uh, courses. Um, you know, it's not as important because it's more, it's more relational anyways. It's sort of like, you know, but um, the kind of like lead in videos, I think would be really nice. Okay. Um, and then we, you know, we really want to scale up a team of, you know, people that would sort of take, uh, take a lead in each of these circles. Uh, that's the word we're using right now is circles. Uh, could be groups, could be whatever, but um, I use or, or uh, Pod pods or what did you call them the, the focus groups you know but essentially the circles is what we're using right now but inside of the if we could have somebody that sort of really sort of uh, champions the each of the circles would be really amazing and and uh we also want to find somebody to to do um like the content creation or like oversee um sort of a producer like a line producer somebody that can actually work with different people to create um, the content that we need to sort of kind of get people talking and get people communicating and, and engaging. Um, Wait, is this different from the one to two minute intros or is this the same? Well, I think we've, we've been doing this uh, online training 
and essentially it says like with each of the groups you'd have like maybe once a week a, a questionnaire or some post that would get people talking get people communicating a poll, a poll something like that mm-hmm. um so yeah we we're thinking more on like like a piece of content that you know maybe it's curated from stuff we rip off you know smash and grab stuff off of the internet but we repurpose it into something that is maybe you know a series let's say for instance in the wisdom masters we take like we go out and find there's so much good content out there you know we could just pull a few pieces of like uh nitan ten han and uh you know master zo and these different masters and, and, and kind of create a little uh, piece you know with our sort of tail in and a tail out kind of intro with uh, spirit hackers how, how many circles are there i don't know how many we have right now here we want to condense it a little bit i think we're a little bit yeah too spread out so i think getting really cons- like clear on the very specific uh directions we want to go um and we have one on there called the re-inhabiting the village and they've already done a really good job of kind of like breaking those down so we may want to kind of align to that as well a little bit okay let me see here a lot one two maybe not the private one not the private one so public one And then that doesn't show up for anybody else. Anyone that just shows onto the network. So th- there's the difference between the circles and the courses, right? Yes. Are the yeah. courses in the circle or they're independent on their own? They're separate. Yeah. But you can have it like on the sidebar of the, in the circle, you can have the, co- the courses there. Okay. We have 13 public courses. And then when you do a course, you can specifically post, you know, if it's more for specific to one of the circles. So, so you have 13 public circles or courses? Circles and then courses we have. Um, well, there's only a couple that are ready, but there's a bunch that we're working on. I think what we want to do now is try to find people that actually have courses already, you know, to translate and make it a little bit smoother. Because working with people we're finding is just a pain in the ass. Well, I mean, yeah, that's something I wanted to talk about. It's like, who gets which job? I, think it, I can create a lot of work, but who's going to do the work? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, when we have people, they're like, yeah, and then they, they, they don't really follow through. Like, yeah, well, you got, you got to find people who have a vested interest who don't care about making money with it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right? Okay. Um, yeah. Unless, you people know. People are so attached to their courses that they're just like, I have it on my website, you know? Well, and, and maybe seeing nobody. So, I mean, it's fine to have it on your website, but yeah, yeah. nobody's seeing it, right? It's yeah, like, one of our friends said that he had trouble selling his program and he had to drop the price in half. And I was like, well, why don't you just put it on ours and get more views? And he's just like, uh. So it's just like, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, gave him an option. Yeah. Nice. Well, we, I think we need to have a better breakdown of like what that looks like so that they can understand that we're only taking a small percentage for the fee. of What percentage? We had it at 22%. 22%. So essentially like that's the fee of the hosting fee, the hosting fee, you know, cause we're paying like 125 a month. Plus when we start marketing. Like, yeah. Well, okay. I just want to get all your uh, parameters just to, to examine your assumptions. <laughs> <laughs> um, 13 public circles. So let's say what, what would be the maximum amount of circles or is that it? No, well, it's an infinite it's amount an infinite of circles amount. that could be started, but it would be nice to try and condense those into specific uh, genres that are, you know, broad enough that you're going to get a community of people, you know, collectively communicating in there. You know, so so. How, many, how many people do you have in right now, the whole thing? I think 60. We haven't even we haven't even invited anyone 
that's yeah. just people that have been like kind of along yeah. the way that we had to bring in for certain circles and things like that. So, and when was your soft launch again? There hasn't, we haven't had a soft launch yet. I, th I thought we're you gonna, mentioned there was going to be a June soft launch. No, we were planning on it on the 19th, but that's not going to happen. <laughs> we just got it. We're now, we're now founders of a new psychedelic company, which is like going public in four months. So we're all of a sudden like, yeah, all of our energy is that or our lot. healing treatments, which is like three days a and week. We got a lot of healing clients who want <laughs> us like, so we've created a whole protocol for this awakening set, these awakening sessions and it's busy. It's really busy. I'm wanting ketamine, like to tell me quickly about the ketamine part of the business. Like we, we add ketamine to our stack. It's one of the medicines that's in our stack. Yeah. So, um, ketamine is, it's a great way to get people into a downregulated nervous system and get them sort of into, into hive mind, get the, the default mode network shut down and get them really in that place, you know, and then when you add the psychedelic aspect in the 5-MeO and the, and the, uh, and the mushrooms, and then we have the, the MDMA in there as well, which gives it the empathic heart opening. So it's powerful experience. Oh, I imagine so, man. <laughs> like next level. I know. Just ketamine. I don't need anything else. I mean, it's like it's more than ayahuasca, like more, like you can get into spaces that we can get them into spaces where they're in there for like two hours, like traveling in these multidimensional realities i know and, and then also doing the inner child work yeah it's pretty cool so that's a big part of what we are where our energy is at right now um spirit hackers i think was we had much more time when we first started yeah we started back in april and we had we had dedicated days where we'd sit down and we were working harder on it yeah. for sure and then yeah and then the next dimension dropped in our lap and in may yeah and that so we've been working on our the deck for that and yeah putting the team together we got what's the, what's the business model for the for the public company like it's ke online ketamine treatment so the, the teletherapy so we'll be building a platform where people can actually get the ke ketamine delivered to them and know how the so that's going to go like crazy yeah that's i mean everybody's depressed everybody it's like the whole world will be able to have I, mean, that, I like what's but what's your um how much are you gonna be selling ketamine for i don't know i mean we haven't really done the numbers on that kind of thing but essentially there's there's a whole platform where the therapist can be with the person and actually be with them during the session so those so those sessions will have essentially like say kind of what we're setting up with the awakening protocol it might be like four sessions over six months along with different sort of like you know life coaching and some practices that they have to do some integration work that kind of thing in between sessions so it's a program um, and then everything's monitored we're we're, we're going to be working with uh, a couple different companies sonify son uh, sonify Sonify and um, another one that does EEG, uh, Muse, and they're friends of mine from a couple conferences I've done. And essentially, the idea is to tie it all together so that live stream data feeds are coming in through dashboards, and so then so the therapists will be able to like monitor these people real time, wow. and, and and have a headset on so they're listening to the you know high vibrational sound music that we're will get developed design that is very specific to frequencies and then so that the therapist could come right on bluetooth and like through you know zoom or whatever however what platform we set it up and be like okay we see that you're you know you're upregulated a bit we want you to do <laughs> three deep breaths in hold for 10 seconds you know so that kind of thing <laughs> yeah i can't imagine the we also have a friend who's 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 uh, working with the university of uh New Mexico, and he's found ways of hitting very specific uh, points in the brain with frequency specific hertz and activating like states of samadhi and things or deep states of meditation, stuff like that. States of love, like oh, he's, he's, he's mapping these things out. So there's a lot, a lot of places where you can scale with that technology. Oh man, I mean, 
Anyway, I just, that is the future. I mean, I, I like to be involved in that too, in, in whatever capacity, um, just because I, I believe in it so much. But just going, I mean, from what I gather, I mean, it just sounds as if you need to find someone to run this. You need to find someone who, who can run Spirit Hacks because for the amount of deeds, for, for what has to happen and you're doing that other thing. I mean, I just know for myself, I spread myself so thin and I fuck up everything because I'm not focused on one of my projects. <laughs> sounds, oh, yeah. sounds like someone else I know. Stop. Yeah. No, but it, I mean, there's so many things. <laughs> okay. I mean, it just sounds as if. Just to be like, it, you hard worker and you are. Like, he's getting. <laughs> <laughs> One sec. Hold on. We got to pause here for a second. <laughs> Trying to update my, my girl on how to hold space for her man. <laughs> okay, so Chalk that up. You, you know the the idea of the shared knowledge community, right? That's That's the main idea I've been playing with where there's 12 teams of 12 people, 144 people. Yeah. And working with the CL Foundation with 144 people right now, creating a one-year training program where not just my stuff, but the Gene Keys and other architects are building this online training course for the CL and the CL team, which uh, I don't know if I told you about, but they came together to find 12 spiritual elders. They do everything by divination. They're very spiritually focused. So that's one yeah. group that's yeah. I would, necessarily... I would I had to I had to walk away because I was doing so much at the time. Right. Yeah. But um, I, like I just bring that up because the the need that I always feel that needs to be created is to have that infrastructure and marketing team or stuff something to assist people like ourselves to build everything that we got to build because we're always lacking, right? Like all these other pieces when we're trying to do all the work by ourselves. And if you could just kind of pop it together into this sort of product package and go, okay, here's what we, we get, here's what you get, here's what they get, go do it, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm, I'm sure there's probably another 10 businesses you could think of that you could get going. Uh, just this is already up and running, it's functioning. We have our business, uh, we have our business um, license we have our account we have our corporation we have like stripe set up to start taking payment we have like this the network is functioning um like we could literally go and just start inviting people and you know but are you talking about spirit hacks right now yeah spirit hackers yeah so we need to get like a a welcome let like we have welcome letters and stuff but maybe uh teaching we were, them. we were hoping that we could get it to like where at least it's just functioning and then we like, sort of like show people hey this is where we're at and like record a zoom that. call of us like showing how to build a course and then right. being like this is how you this is how easy it is to do because you know what it's like like yeah we can sort of start looking for people to get, come on board now we're managing people and that is extra hard um, unless we could find somebody that's super keen that's like you know wants to just fully take take the lead and jump on this that would be that would be really amazing but every, I, I don't have faith in that anymore. <laughs> I mean, I haven't found anyone yet in all the years that's actually like keen enough to like take, you know, unless they're, and they're probably doing something else if, they're, if they are. So finding that, I believe it's possible if we're really clear on what it is we're looking for. But yeah, we're hoping to just get it to where this thing was like functioning. People were mm -hmm. sharing stuff in there and, you know, Maybe we back off on like the, you know the level of content that we want, you know, and we, but maybe maybe we need to just like sit back and actually build it slow over a year, and then before we launch, you know, I don't know. Can, can I? Let me just finish what I was saying. Yeah. Okay. In terms of the shared knowledge community. Yeah. Where I think one of the the new paradigm solutions is a type of organizational structure that's different, right? that does have the marketing and infrastructure, but allows small product teams to create whatever it is. And then everyone's accessing these larger systems, right? So, I mean, I just put that forward because the 13 circles, like it's like, how do you make a whole out of the parts? And so what you're doing is you're collecting these parts. Now you have, let's say a spiritual portal. Mm -hmm. I have a map of 20 portals. 
of which spirituality, let's say, is one portal. So I have, let's say, an idea that would have 19 others of what you have, but one from education, one from politics, one from the biosphere, one from different focused lenses that are part of this thinking system that I got called the inflow matrix, which is in card sets, which at some point is going to be in the world, which is going to be a way to sort of structure people's minds. Mm. So I see you, let's say, if you were in this larger idea as being, let's say, the spiritual portal, then I look at, I've got, let's say, 20 spiritual masters that I know that if you look behind me, this is a way of framing inside a Zoom call. So it's framing the worldview you're coming from, which I think is a big piece of this puzzle. Mm -hmm. So you know that this is a type of a worldview. And then you're, let's say we have all the different worldviews. That's the structure of things saying, this is a Christian. This is a Muslim. This is a Buddhist. This is a Jedi Knight. So it's actually creating a structure for the mind to see the differences between all of these spiritual traditions. Now, if you're honoring them all and giving them all a place, then you become the go-to spiritual portal on the planet, in my opinion. It's distinguished from other portals which don't distinguish worldviews and may be caught in a worldview. And to me, what we're doing is we're going trans worldview. We're getting above that. We have to reach some sort of unity consciousness where we don't have these structures of the mind always separating us. So this guy, Carl Kalman, decoded this Mayan temple and the ninth wave is the unity consciousness. So I don't know if you guys know this guy's work. Do you guys know this guy's work? I've seen him live a couple times. Yeah, I've seen him. I, I, don't, I haven't read any of his books though, but I, I've seen Okay, him. to me, he has the background structure for what, is what was occurring within the development of consciousness for our species. The minds encoded in these temples and each one of these layers is a wave of consciousness that structures our society and our thinking. And let's say if somebody's down at the industrial level here, you know, they're about power, you know, and every, like the last two generations have come in, like the last generation, you know, is just their unity consciousness. Their DNA is gonna be different. They're coming in within this wave that we're already in, but all the waves are going on at the same time. So I'm just saying that Carl Kalaman, as a teacher, is structured. That's his thing, the ninth wave of creation or the nine waves of creation. So just by this structure, if he's here speaking, this is telling you who he is and what he's coming from. Right. Yeah. Which, in my opinion, doesn't exist right now on the planet. We are not framing our conversations and we are not framing our worldviews. And that's the main essence of my work right, right okay. and it's only i've been wanting to create the software program but i'm not a programmer but it's only in zoom where i finally went oh i can build the interface it doesn't have to work but it can be the background for seeing what somebody is and so depending on if you guys agree or want to here's another guy juan carlos who has this process called the magic canoe which is linked to group coherence, which shows you want to take a team, you got to go through this process to get there. And he's working with us at Le Ciel, but it's, he's, he's adding in the shadow elements or pieces of the puzzle, which I've seen in groups where they just fuck up. Why are they fucking up? <laughs> they're fucking up because they're not going through, let's say, correct processes. So he's got a process that he's working on. Now, each person, group coherence, each spiritual master is going to have a focus point of what their mastery is about. So what we want to do is we want to look at where does each person's thing fit in a larger map? And then if you have the whole map filled out, basically that's the whole curriculum. Right. And we could do that for organizations as well, I guess. Eh? Then you can custom design processes and, and pro training programs for organizations based upon here's our available curriculum. Now, what do you want to get done and who is available right now? Mm -hmm. As far as developing out the, the different curriculum, the different programs, courses. It's, it's all going to be about custom design programs mm -hmm. to achieve certain results based upon, you know, how well the teacher, you know, like if people get Carl Callum at the beginning to understand the framing of the, the consciousness shift, 
before going into, let's say, some details about how to make your organization better, they're going to know why we're, we chose these processes and people because we're shifting into a new paradigm and this is why we're doing it. So if people, you know, at the beginning of the course, you see Carl and maybe it's just an hour, right? Maybe it's just a half hour of Carl saying what that is. You take it, pop it in. We can design courses for people. So it's, it's, it's like the site becomes a curator for all of the, like, like, I don't know if you know the Jordan's model of the curator, the remixer and the creator. No. It's a really good model to think about media of looking at, you've got all these creators that are creating all this beautiful stuff. Yeah. The remixers are the people that are taking bits and pieces from all the stuff and creating content. But then the curator is someone like me, who's like an architect, who's building these larger processes and creating these larger uh, curriculums of the remixers and the creators. Mm -hmm. What's the, what's the law around that? Like, I mean, if we're, we, we have one, like the, the master's course, like, can you pull stuff off YouTube and repurpose it? I mean, it's kind of like that, you know, Ramayan right now is, is he's redoing Veeam such that you can post your content and then you can create these non-fungible tokens, non-fungible tokens or whatever. And I think he says he's figured out how to help the content creators create content, which then if it makes money, they get a percentage, like it goes to the bits and pieces. So, I mean, that is being worked upon, but I, I, I don't know the answer. But so what I have here, and it depends on, again, I guess, interest or, um, you know, the, to teach someone to make a course, you know, basically it's kind of creating segments, right? It's just creating these modules that, you know, has some sort of structure in the module. Why are you smiling? Who's smiling? She's giving a little, little smile. <laughs> I like the way you think. This is all so new to me. It's is it? Yeah, no, totally. I like, haven't heard any of this before. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's great because yeah, it's showing me like a different way forward. Yeah. Okay. Well, I was, I was feeling really stuck. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I thought it was uh, the smile of, oh, look what he thinks he knows. Look no, 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 no. <laughs> how, how are you feeling stuck? Well, I mean, I think we just like went out and just like put so many courses in so many circles and then just like had to step back because mm -hmm. we had other things. So it's just like, um, just really uh, unresourced more than anything. More than yeah. Anything. And then it's like, there's so much to do. Then it was like, well, how do we even approach this? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cause it, yeah. Cause like no one else is even like using it. Like, you know, we're just like, look, and it's just the two of us. When we were putting time and energy into it, all of a sudden there was people. Yeah. Like posting, people were just like joining. On. And then now it's just like, so yeah, so it's a really more about resource than it is about structure. I mean, the structure is important. Yeah. No, I, I think that, the structure like, needs. To... What I'm saying is like what we're stuck on right now is resource and structure. Well, and structure, important. right? But I mean, if we had the resource, the like what we because we we're lucky enough to find Mighty Networks, which gave us this incredible structure. Yeah, that's the thing that wasn't there before, or had to, would have to be developed, and we know. Yeah doing that they're you know, they're spending a lot of money and a lot of time in developing yeah their everyone's system. building their own platform like from scratch which so, is just no like, mighty networks is the best i found like if i was going to use one that that was the one i was going to use yeah. yeah okay yeah so anyways i'm i'm happy that you're sharing this with us just because yeah. it's giving me like a fresh eye so it'd be like essentially i guess it's, it's this structure is how to structure teams to get people working together synergistically well that's another part like we're looking at the broad of the whole community and then we broke, break down into the teams where again, yeah, there's a lot of tools I have for that. Um, the, like you, it's like, I've got four major projects now that are all kind of, <laughs> each has massive potential, not including my own prototypes, which those are the sort of use of them. But now it's kind of like, okay, well, like as soon as a hundred thousand card sets are on the planet, this is a different ball game, right? Like the, right. the, the card set contains, the secret plan of really how to restructure the mind. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm getting close to that. Ah! <laughs> Part of me wants nothing to do with it, right? Because of the human factor of now I have to deal with a bunch of psychopaths, right? <laughs> um, so, <laughs> uh, yeah. 
but it just like it just seems that the um like i have again you know like you again maybe you know 20 people that i would invite in but then there's that process of helping them create the course and then the whole thing of okay do i charge money do i make the screen like it could take my whole life right just with those people that i introduce into the into this yeah, and process. You know, i've already had to make boundaries with that because people are like oh can you sit us down and walk us through it and i'm like no we actually don't have time but we can maybe record a zoom yeah, thing and send it that. to the same to send it to everyone yeah. because like we just don't yeah. have time to take every single person and teach them how to do it like for sure you know. no no but you guys i think you guys got a you did the hardest part and now th th there has to be some people out there that would love to run with this yeah um but i think part of it is going you know is this is this a money project or is it a service project? Yeah, well, we're, I mean, some of the people that have like, there's one lady, she has, like, what was it? A baking, a baking, like, uh, money networks. And she's making $180,000 a year. Just, just, just teaching people how to bake things, you know? So, yeah. So like, it's definitely like, you know, it's definitely a potential to make money. We have the whole marketplace aspect as well. Cause like, as a spirit hack, like, well, yeah, we talk about the, you know, this, the air doctor being, you know, and the, the, how amazing it is to have that, that clean air in your space. And then boom, it links over to the air doctor, right? And, and a discount price, you know, because we're, they're part of the community. Um, so yeah, I think that the marketplace is, has a huge potential because it's not, it's not, it's not so specific, like where, you know, most people will be looking for whatever, little doodads but like it's like okay no actually this is like an ozone generator and we have a discount code for that and it's like okay well that's different than just jumping on amazon and looking for something that you're looking for For sure it's, i think it's a bit more uh, people would use it more i think if and especially if it was done in that way where we pr produce a video and in that video it links them to the to the to the marketplace and they're able to purchase that thing that we've just talked about and essentially, you know, not because we're trying to sell something, but because we believe that they need that thing, you know, like people need to start doing ozone injections, ozone insulation if they can, if they want to survive this fucking spiritual winter where, you know, these are some of the things that we know that are able to save people's lives right now. You know, the, the CDS, that's why we're doing it. That's our why. Like how, how many of, uh, let's say, of the 13 public circles, how many of them have a kind of leader in there? Well, they all have kind of a leader, but they're not really doing much right now. Yeah, they're not doing anything. Have you ever had a Zoom call with all the leaders kind of thing? No, no. we haven't done that yet. Because I think that would probably be like, I think that like each leader has to be responsible for what happens in their circle, right? And so, um, then you have to do some training to the circle leaders to to look at what they can do. I think again, it's because our energy is pulled back. And so it's not like we're the ones holding the inspiration vibe. For sure. People are like, as soon as I get inspired, everyone around me is like, oh yeah, let's do it. You know, and I know that I have that ability, but yeah. my energy is not there right now. It's right. designing this platform for this psychedelic online, you know, and, uh, and dealing with like Shane, who's, and yeah. all of that like you know and also who's shane shane is the he's the he's one he's our partner um who is a uh, complete like drug addict and, and uh just completely energetically fucking off the rails and we have to now do some major psychic surgery to bring him back um he, is he the guy who put the money in he well he uh, like i said he raised 80 million dollars in one weekend in vegas He's like, yeah, he started the, one of the largest fund management companies. He took the 12 top marijuana companies public. He's the guy. He's like the guy from, the, you know, with that movie that. Uh, and he's a waste case. Oh, and he's a total coke head and yeah. he heads off to Vegas and sleeps with hookers. And, yeah, so it's literally the meeting. I think it's actually because I, you know, I hear all this sort of like stuff when the elders talk about the meeting of the of the eagle and the condor, and it's like, I don't think it's what they think it is, which is like the north and the south. I think it's actually the fucking beast 
that is like the eagle on the dollar bill yeah the, the, the people like the the earth people you know that's the kid that's the eagle and the condor and he's the he's the eagle he's like he has the ability like i said you know to so having him and chief phil lane together right now like we had a meeting with them it was so fucking juxtaposition that like my being was being like like crushed inside cringing i was, like, I was just in constant cringe you know does he listen to you they both do yeah uh yeah. do they yeah oh yeah shane definitely has a, like shane that's why i'm he's asked me to be a founder like shane could ask any fucking number of like high tech high profile high okay. you know well they just didn't seem to be listening to anyone but themselves i i found there was like two yeah. alpha males yeah butting heads a little bit but when i when him and i talk he listens to right me. okay yeah yeah as soon as you get in that group space things are way different eh yeah so is he the person who started this in terms of the idea or you gave him the idea and he came in? No, he, he came up with the idea and then we, we, we've we been, brought, we brought it. Like we've yeah, sent you're the implementers. His idea was telehealth around psychedelics. And then, so yeah, we're working on the whole vision and the deck and we brought in Adam Apollo and his team around some design stuff to create the, the dashboard and then like, you know, figuring out the technologies to be able to like pull it off. And then, you know, then, but, but he's, but Shane also has a lot of the connections with like health Canada, cause he's been working with the, the Ibogaine company for a while, which I think they're trying to kick him out of boards. Now they're trying to kick him off. Of. How old is he? Late sixties. Late sixties. Yeah. Oh, really? Maybe, maybe 70s. He's not healthy. He's not. He's, he's like, not well. Like we, we're on a we're on like a mission to save him. Is he on a spiritual path or? No. Yeah. Not at all. No. But he has a heart. Like, but does has he had like God consciousness experiences? He had he had an ibogaine experience down in Mexico. It was a half dose though, because he had, he has two stints in his heart, so he can only handle so much. So they were really gentle with him. Uh, but yeah, he had a. I guess he said he had a pretty profound experience there. And there's a part of him that really knows what the mission is. And he's like, really got a beautiful heart, but uh, he gets caught up in his ego so much. So, so that's a big piece right now. Like we just got a message from his girlfriend and she's like wanting to leave the house because he's just keeps doing the same shit. So <clears throat> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, that must. You just need him to raise a, this sixty million that he's got in a. You know, he needs this. We need to get this into the, into the shell, and have the the sixty million that he's promised us, and then like, you know, then take care of him, like like help him a little bit, right? Give him some support. But um, we have a beautiful team together, like powerhouse team, and you know, bring an Adam on board for design and bring him, you know you to have, have you in there and do some like system stuff because yeah it's all we know what we have to do we know what we want to do and it's fucking amazing you know to have to be able to have 60 million or 40 million I, he said 40 one time he said 60 another time so i think it's 40 i think it's 40 yeah so anyways that money is in the shell ready to go we just have to put this in there and then build this uh, an advisor team around it and then we can go public like within a couple of months. Get a sub-license agreement to produce and manufacture MDMA, ketamine, psilocybin. Yeah, as well. we have that already figured out too. We have a friend who's got the license and we can sub-license it right now. So, so we could be the first to market in that space. That's gonna go crazy. Yeah, all the things are there, man. Yeah, so, it's there. It's that's just why he's, we... he's fucking up hard this morning, especially. So it's like dropping the ball, like right <clears throat> Yeah. yeah and we we've pivoted so hard from what we were doing we were really passionate about to do this yeah now. like health so, hacks and you know we, we were thinking as well with the health hacks is like they have the financing so they could purchase the really expensive machines that we wanted to share with people and we could have it for the treatments when people are done with their ketamine and they want to actually come into the center yeah. they can access these beautiful the bioresonance stuff that's coming right. out right now is so fucking next level which we were planning on financing them by ourselves which would just like make us you know but like if they could 
do it for us and we could just send people to them it's like yeah. boom we have a center that's we could buy today that's like gonna probably if it doesn't get bought today it's gonna go it's got like three backup offers and it's like got 10 buildings like big lodge six other houses with cabins its own lake and everything so just like we just want to land this right and then like you know it, we can build spirit hackers but this is this is essentially the what i feel is the catalyst to do all the things we want to do right because yeah. they they are they're, they're in, in universal i have a game they're you know they're sort of seven grand a month each is sort of their their salary and then that you get like founder shares and then you can buy you have first right to buy the early shares and stuff like that so not that it's fun you know money based but it really does come into play when we're thinking about kind of being able to do the things that we want to do including like getting out of maple ridge and buying a home and yeah so so it's so we're kind of like that's energetically it feels like where we need to focus some energy and attention but um the, i agree with you if we could find a one or two people to that wanted to take a lead in spirit hackers we could get behind it and and still we've got so much creative ideas and stuff that we want to do around the content and our own content like we thought maybe might be best in, you know instead of trying to build all this other stuff out we just build sky method and and go through the process of like doing you know the content the the the, the you know the video build out some of the course and then invite people to that and then we've got at least a model that we're already sort of working with and then also i feel like one of the low-hanging fruits is the, the soulful sundays because i did one when covid first hit um i put together the, that soul fam cha uh, channel which was supposed to be a much more spiritual and it ended up being just a complete like you know dark cabal agenda <laughs> site um but uh you know in the beginning we did these like groups you know these zoom groups where we were doing uh emt or tapping and we were did some some song circle and it was so powerful and everyone was messaging me please do it again please do it again like that that feel of filling the soul you know like that getting together with community and like that was such and, and i don't think it would be that hard like we've got people that would come in and you know, Matthew Cosell's already agreed. And so is Rhea to do the tapping. And so I think, you know, and then with that, you've got the Soulful Sunday, boom, you know, people have got to sign up to the network to access it, right? Right. It's a great way to kind of get going. So maybe keep simplifying it to a couple sort of missions yeah, yeah. instead of like trying to look at it this so big. Well, I, th I think <clears throat> the one thing is, I guess, coming from a point of view, because you have enough, let's say for a whole school on your own in a sense, right? I, yeah, yeah that's what we yeah exactly yeah, totally. we, we could go all day every day just creating content for the different spirit hacks that we're tapping into right now yeah, so if you're looking at you know is this a larger community spiritual portal again or is this more not quite your personal portal but something that you want more <clears throat> um more input around the design of that matches exactly what you want versus <clears throat> having to spend a lot more time with other people, <clears throat> but having a broader sort of, uh, you know, a broader foundational portal. So that's to me, a, a big question for you guys to sort of figure out. So that'll help you just kind of see how to put your time. I also sense you just got to put a longer timeline on it. I think because of everything you've been doing, you, you, you should just open it up into, it will progress as it progresses and take the pressure off some any kind of launch or something or, or having to be ready because it's now a secondary project and you just got to admit that and your 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 primary focus should be on the big one and then you know you got to be more intelligent and wise around your use of your time around it around you know i think finding people like one thing i would suggest is we do a zoom call with the, with the 13 circle leaders and just start to get some feedback from them I could facilitate or, you know, it doesn't matter if you want. Um, but we have a meeting with everyone just to see who's excited, you know, where they're at, that would leverage things. Um, I could, since I have to, I, I am creating my course design an ideal job. I could jump in and start to go through the process then reverse engineer a bit of seeing, okay, well, if someone comes in, 
what's this process of onboarding and what do they got to go through and then i can use my structure to go okay this is this is how i would i would look at doing it um we might i could start to bring some people in but probably ones that i'm not sure because again on my own time like if i because i know it's a big thing to the people like i know a first nations elder who can focus on sovereignty you know uh and he's he's like a gem but you can't really screw up your first name you know you can't just bring him in and go okay do it yourself you you got to yeah, come in and, yeah. and yeah, help them out. teams around it right yeah so um like these are heavy hitters right these are people you don't fuck with in a sense or make a big mistake by coming in the wrong way with them yeah yeah so we're already dealing with that in with right now with uh bill lane and with what we're dealing with like we have to we have to make sure that this doesn't you know that Shane's not going to fuck this up in a big way. You know, because because mm -hmm. Phil's put together, he's got all the nations ready to go. Wow. So they just need the money to so like start building some centers, you know, and like start landing this and like build the team around it, the medical team and stuff like that. So it is, it's a big deal what we're already venturing on, and yeah, to like every one of those it needs. So maybe it is like us creating some content and just having fun with it for now and just building mm -hmm. some things that were, you know, video of us, you know, with some plating ozone up our butt, stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, just for now until we, yeah. until we're ready to, to take this, you know, I feel like this other project it would be quick, quick for us to build a team around it because we'd be able to finance people. Yeah. Um, whereas this, like, it's got after it's good, it's a passion project until we're able to like get people pay, buying courses and stuff like that. Well, and, and maybe I mean one thing could be um, we find someone who who could really be like a CEO or, or is a real great organizer. Yeah. We could track their hours, and then when funding came through with this other project. You could delegate a little bit of funds from there to this and have the spirit hacks as some subgroup of whatever you're doing yeah. and for that person if they know they're going to get paid when funding comes through then they might you might get someone who's serious enough to do it and then i mean if you're getting 40 million you know petty cash to to that just for whatever got done right maybe it's going to cost five thousand bucks or something like that exactly yeah yeah, we're already paying money every month to have this thing. I know, or, yeah. You know, it needs to start generating some it needs money. To generate so, at least to cover the cost of it. Yeah, at least to cover the cost. And yeah. Um, but we also are using it for, you know, some of the, well, none of the circles have really started using it that much. Yeah, we're, we're doing it for like private circles of like how to cook the K. That's one of the, the private the secret ones that no one can see unless they're invited directly. Yeah. So that's like all the underground, how to actually take the ketamine in and cook it. And yeah. And then we have like the five MEO practitioners. All of us are going to like use it as a platform to like share experiences. And the Crystal Kids were using it and then I did the one day and we were going to start posting you know some of the stuff around that but then again that's not moved forward like, so. like i would also say that it's it's sort of it's better to go slow better to find what the wrinkles are ahead of time before doing i think once it really launches it's going to really launch right you'll have hundreds of thousands or millions of people coming by mm -hmm. up until then you don't want many people coming in because you haven't figured it all out and you want to make sure that the processes are in place to handle that type of that amount of people mm -hmm. and that everyone in there is ready so i would say like for the next year <clears throat> just get it ready should we maybe like downgrade it from the high business platform to like a lower one for now so it's not like 125 every month for I, I don't think so maybe what we could do is if if another option could be looking at the 13 wow. public circles the leaders and ask okay you know we don't want to fund the whole thing on ourselves if everyone threw in like just 10 bucks a month you know now everyone's it's just the idea of spreading the cost because yeah. most people think that's not that much but if it's coming out of your own pocket and you don't have much it's a lot right i think if we found a ceo like you said or a business management person that would want to kind of take a lead role um i think it would be easier for us to meet with that person and, and, and then they say okay this is the things we need from you and we can actually then do that um because to to manage everything right now and to like spearhead this whole thing it's it's too so much for us at this moment um so that might be a good step you know we we had uh francis was 
yeah a couple people are interested the one was like interested but she was like she felt like it was a bigger project that she didn't want to take on because she's already in her 70s or something but she had someone else that she was interested in. right so yeah that might be the step is just to really like put it out there to the community and see if we can find somebody that is, has the bandwidth and wants to take on a project that's already kind of like you know got some legs it just needs just needs some love <laughs> <laughs> it's some lovings. It's daily lovings. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like a. <clears throat> Must be fed. Yeah, I just think it's a it's a very specific person with a very specific skill set. Yeah, that is hard to find because that type of skill set, you know, generally they're doing their own thing, right? Yeah. What's Jordan doing these days? And he he drew it all over the map too, isn't he? So I really like <laughs> he's well actually like he's he's kind of a lot like me, I think, in some ways, where on the outside it may seem as if nothing's happening or complete chaos, but on the inside, he's really working on a media interface system that is top notch. Um, very impressed by it. Uh, so but he's again on the edge of survival kind of thing. So you know, on the one sense, I'd say he's he's struggling through life. On the other sense, I'd say he's he's really doing well on his own work. But yeah, I think like what, he, what most of the world is seeing is is the the chaos. He's been portraying a lot of chaos, <laughs> but if if you talk to him, very coherent. No, his framing is amazing. I really love how he how he sees life. He sees it through a very creative lens, and you know. But yeah. But that yeah, yeah it's hard for people like that to like land stuff, right? Again. He's reflected back so much, like it's insane to me, the amount of reflection of going, oh man, this is how I look like this. Oh, God. <laughs> it's so abstract. So it's like, how do you... well, it's just anyone who's obsessed with an idea, but isn't really dealing with real life that well, right? Like you're just, yeah. if you're too lost in that idea, you're going to lose credibility with most people. Yeah. So, so that said, um, it almost feels like we're kind of like, in a sense, gonna put it put it on hold a little bit because we need to. We need to for the next. Yeah. The next. This is weeks. like crucial. The next week and a half is just like laser say, laser focus on this other one. I would yeah. say we almost need to give ourselves a month, and we need to maybe in that month find somebody to focus on finding somebody. Say that we're launching a network. We're looking for somebody to take a lead in it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and then run them through it, find, find the right person. That would be just like one thing to do. That would be really powerful, right? Is to have the right person in place. I might, I mean, I, I may know some, I mean, I'll look, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll think about it. We could definitely do yeah, like a, like maybe we do like a, a you know, certain amount of money paid when we get our, you know, financing in and some shares or something like that so that they're also a part of it they're creating something yeah create a, a good a good arrangement that maybe you feel good about mm -hmm. um we're probably a month out before we'll be starting to get salary from what we're doing and then the universal ibo game goes public on the second of july so we're hoping it's going to go go to the moon that yep will, that will change things substantially for us can people buy the stock or like what's the there no now it's done i mean so now it's the essentially all of the sub receipts are done which is like prior to the ipo um like the you know friends and family stuff and like selling shares before it goes public um so then it goes now it's like all locked in and then they're just doing all the paperwork finishing paperwork to to go public and then they go public on the second and then after it goes public on the NASDAQ or T I, I'm not sure, TSX, I think, um, then you could trade it through a trading account. Yeah. Wow. And July 2nd, that's like for sure? July 2nd to the 5th between those days or something mm -hmm. like that. What's the name of it? It's it's going on online as IBO, IBO game, Universal IBO game, Inc. IBO is the ticker. IBO. And what do you think it's going to enter at? I think he said they were going to enter it at 25 cents. For some reason, he, he knows how to play the 
the whole game, but he said he, he needs it to stay low for like the first couple of weeks because there's, I guess, some big players that want to come in and purchase some at a bunch at 25. Um, and then and then he'll start his marketing campaign and ramp it up. Show like he'll start to share like the doctors that are involved and we have deals with Health Canada. We're going to be starting stage two trials at the you know, University of Manitoba, um, you know, that they have all the things, right? He just has, he, he, he has all that ready to go. Yeah. It could be big, man. It could it's be massive. That's massive. We're hoping it goes to three to five dollars. <laughs> then we'll be, then we'll be in a much different financial situation. Yeah. Then we could, then we could fund to build a team for spirit hackers, you know? We had like three other people working with us and we could drop in with every couple of days. And, and then nothing. No, but if we do, if we, oh. if we build this, build a team oh, and yeah. we could actually fund it for a couple months, we could do something really cool. Yeah. Because we'd have fun creating content. And... Yeah. Well, how about, what about, um, what about that, that meeting with the 13 circle people? Do you want to like, is that just going to stir the pot too much or you want to actually do that in the meantime? Yeah, well, we don't actually have people for every circle, but we have people that have said that they would um, would like to participate. And so that might be something. Can you give me access to the network? Yeah. Are you not on there? I'll just invite you. Okay. And then. And I'll start making a course. Can you set me up for that or? Okay, yeah. Use the, um, make him a host and use the specific. Okay. What's your email? Elijah Ignatieff, E L I J A H. Yeah. I G N A T I E F F. At, at Gmail. We're still on Gmail. My Zoho is stopped. I'm going to make you a host. Do the better invite. Much better invite. The one that you like to open up. Where is it? Uh, web content on, on uh, Telegram. Because I think that also you probably need to define the roles for the team, for the whole team of like, um, that's another thing I could probably help with. And were you looking at this portal being a like a profitable thing or like a service thing? No, we want to make profit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. But we want to make it. Our goal is that everyone on the network can can uh, produce income from it. You know what I mean? If they want to create their own course or they want to have a circle, if they want to add to the, we'd love to have the the marketplace like a real marketplace where you could have your own booth. So what's, what's the, for creating a circle, what's your process? Like, can anyone create a circle or is it only with your permission kind of thing? Or are you uh, the only guys that can create circles? No, anyone can create a, can everyone create a circle? Hosts can create yeah, a hosts, circle. Yeah. Hosts can create a circle. So if someone wanted to create a circle, we could make it so that like, you know, they could ask us or some way, but uh, anyone can create a course at this point. So a circle is just kind of like a Facebook group kind of thing? Yes. Exactly. But you could also charge for it. It doesn't have to be free. And you can um, bundle courses and circles together into a package if you want. Um, so like you can get a discount. If you buy if you buy membership to this circle, you'll get a discount off of this course or something. So there's ways of linking it. Okay. So it's circle. set up for... It's all set up for the payment kind of thing. It is. Yeah. We have the yeah. Skype all, all loaded, ready to go. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. You want to send it to him? Oh. Yeah. Do you have the invite, Elijah? Let me take a look.
It's not it yet. What do you? What CRM do you guys use? Uh, I don't know a CRM. Customer relationship software like HubSpot or. <clears throat> We haven't. It, I think it, there. I think Spirit Hackers has a built-in CRM, but I'm not sure. Okay. Um, I remember when we went into. Uh, Do you guys use a project management software at all? We use Quip, which is like, like Google Docs. Essentially, yeah. You, you have different oh. templates. Have you heard of Rike? Oh God, no. no. The Quips where we've been using Quip, it works amazing. It's super easy. Oh yeah. What's the other one? What's Rike? W R I K E. What is it for? <clears throat> it's a project management software. It's the I think the best on the market. <laughs> Every time I do a different project, someone else starts it. No, I, 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 I would not use any of them. And it's the first one that I actually. Yeah, that's how I feel about Quip. <laughs> but we, I've been using Quip now for like two years. So I have like okay. you know, a lot of things in there. So it's hard for me to just go over to another one. I got you. Quip. Q U I P? Yeah. Quip. I'll take a look. Decent. It's really great. Yeah. It works. It's, it has you color code folders? Um, yeah. Probably. Yeah. Yeah, you can. Oh, folders. Yeah. Can you color code? For, that's the best question. <laughs> <laughs> color coding is so important. It's true. I, I, I work with so many I've seen. I couldn't even freaking color code a folder and it would only go like two levels down. And it's like, for, like how do you even organize anything with that? Yeah. It, it was a bit sticky for me to start using, but now I kind of get it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, it works good. Yeah. No, I mean, it's, it's funny that the, the shared info tech is such an important piece and yet it's complete chaos out there. Yeah, <laughs> totally. <laughs> That's right. We have guys like just to deal with the info tech for most people is like too much, like just. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's a lot for me to get up on Quip and now. Uh, that's why when you say another one, I'm like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> that's what we don't want. <laughs> yeah. um this yeah i like i like it would be really cool for us to design something for like a background for people on the spirit hackers hey did. hey can i can i show you a little upgrade to the choose a remedy what is it choose a remedy yeah let me um i gotta pee real quick but i'll be right there. you're gonna do the test okay where is it What's what's a question you got? Like to the world or <laughs> what's your biggest question right now mm. that you want an answer to? <clears throat> hmm. I have never been asked that actually. Really? That's yeah. What's my biggest question? Uh, I guess what will the world look like in a year? <laughs> I was thinking more about how do I deal with my partner. <laughs> yeah, I'm just I'm I'm sensing that there's going to be like massive shifts in terms of like the economy and the whole purchasing and being consumers. Like I feel like that's actually shifting. So I'm just wondering, like, will we actually be able to walk into a store and buy things? Like, actually, I'm I'm very like. Well, that's. Yeah, that's probably you know, good. Price, price. What do you think of this interface? That's pretty cool. Okay, so this is choose a remedy. And then, so you write the question. You can, here we go. So what's the question? What will the world look like in a year? Do you have another question? Oh, really? Okay. Okay, so what will the world look like in a year? We asked the remedy. This is the upgrade, the bear background. Oh. And then the value goes over the bear. Oh, look at this. Understanding, welcoming, and governance. New governance system, maybe. Yeah. Understanding how to welcome in a new governance system. There we go. You have a question? Yeah, that's great. What's your 
most pressing question. Oh God. I couldn't think of anything when I was put what on the spot. The, what are the next steps with Universal Ivo Game? Okay. Or with uh, Next Dimension. Okay. What is the next what is the step? Best next best step. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> next step forward with what with ibo with no with next dimension ibo is going to become a pharmacy <laughs> clinical model okay. that is <laughs> healing change okay let's see here that's a nice one Charisma, to value a spiritual power or a personal quality that gives an individual influence with people. A healing convo, to hold space so the people in the conversation can express their pain. Oh my goodness. <laughs> of the 72 convo types, that is the only healing convo of them. And change, the ability to move from one state, form, belief, or feel to another. Yeah, we have to shift into another vibrational frequency. Like it can't be this like old pattern. Wow, you took a photo of that? I did, yeah. Yeah, that's it. that's actually so spot on. Yeah, that's that's spot on. So you can save it as a PDF. So what is this accessing? What type of information is it pulling on? This is the card set. I created a card set called the Conscious Communication Card Set. That's over four hundred cards. Mm -hmm. So I have a physical. Um, physical card set and then that's the online set is that, it a random event generator or something or yeah but is it really random it is i mean it's it's pretty <laughs> incredible what comes through i mean yeah that's that's pretty all of that resonates <sighs> yeah that feels really resonant yeah it feels really resonant to just take a little break yeah. Even if it's just one month. Yeah. Just to focus like really clearly on what we have to do with the next, next yeah. dimension. Because that is that like it's like dealing with our baseline first, right? <laughs> like next dimension could actually fund everything else. Next dimension could give us our our pay our rent for the rent, you know, like it's like Spirit Hackers is a passion project and it's I, I'm so excited about it still. It's just it's an it's an output like a major output without any foreseeable payment plan, yeah. unless we get things rolling and even that's a question mark, right? Yeah. Um, Cause we, we are, we are spirit hackers and we love it. And I think mm -hmm. we've got bogged down a little bit by it because it's just, we're not, we don't have the focus in the pattern. Yeah. And what everything that's happening with next dimension other than this thing with Shane, which could be turned around in an instant. He has an amazing session. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to talk to him and just, yeah, we'll just have a really good conversation. And like, maybe I'll talk to Phil and we have something like a man to man, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. So, you like the, the bear? Like, dragon? The bear was beautiful. That was a bear. And, right. and the dragon, too. That was pretty cool. There's an artist in Florida, Hayes, who did those. And I, I was waiting months to get that. Oh, really? So, now I've got no copyright issues with. So it's, it's ready to go, kind of. If you want anything from Jan, I could connect you with my buddy Jan. Who's Jan? Jan uh, Kasperic. Is he a programmer? No, he's a, he's a painter, but he's, his stuff is super epic. Is it? Yeah. It's... I need a programmer. I need, a, I need some sort of tech programmer. A tech programmer, okay. Uh, There's, we, we have this... this uh, did I tell you about the chat room? I've got a chat room that you can program with a condo type, a goal, value, timer, point score. And we're this close to having it done. And then my programmer decides to go back to school. <laughs> oh, shoot. And he launches a game. He showed me this game and he launches it the same day he goes back to school. I don't understand, but. Huh. It totally, totally changed everything. It was the first time I had someone who could actually make the technology that I wanted. 
for, for no money. <laughs> wow. And we're making, and that what you just saw was the first thing we made. And it was just like, I tell you, like I've got, I've got a trillion dollar software program and, uh, <laughs> and a lot of stories about why it ain't happened. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Turn on your. Can you share? Can we share a screen? Well, you have to share. You want to share? Show me something. Oh, I was going to show you his art. I'll make you a host. I'm a host, so I can share. There's one of his pieces there. Oh, wow. I do want to make a conversational combo deck with art cards. That'd be nice. Yeah, I mean, his stuff is... Jesus. So much talent. So much talent. And he gets right into it with some of these things, too. Like some of the where does he live? Got one with uh in kids. No, he's living in Mexico now. Yeah, he moved okay. down. Um he did one with uh Bill Gates. Oh my god, it's so good. We're gonna take over. That's gonna take over, yeah. Yeah. Um okay, programmer. Let me let me think about that. I would <clears throat> I wonder if I don't know programmers either. So one thing when you were talking about content generation for stimulating conversations, we could have the remedy program somewhere in there and that you can ask a question and then invite your whole circle to answer the question kind of thing, right? Like it's meant. Uh, to yeah. yeah. And you can, in zoom, you can make those things kind of small. So you can have that sort of there on the side too, right? During the conversation, like you can move it around. Yeah. Yeah. I saw some neat stuff with Zoom where you can also put yourself like in a box down in the corner. Oh yeah. That stuff. I wish I wish I could take what I have here and put it into Zoom and frame. I mean, that's what they're missing is the ability to frame these. And I, I want to be able to put people in the right box, like and do like a Hollywood Square show, and then have it framed in a certain way. Are you on a green screen? You you in front of a green screen? No. You know, it would you would make your all of your images like crisp, eh? You wouldn't have all that bleeding. Yeah, I'm my studio's a little <laughs> you can order green screen for like 20 bucks online on Amazon. Really? Yeah. Okay. You hang a piece there behind you and you'll have like it'll be super crisp. You'll sometimes your face half disappears and stuff. Yeah. Like... <laughs> and then when your hands go like this, it's like <laughs> Well, we've been chatting for quite a while. It's been wonderful. Uh, Thank you for your time. And um, yeah, check out, check it out and see what you think and, and where you think, you know, I mean, I think uh, I love your idea. Let's like figure if we find somebody to, to take on a lead, lead role and then yeah, getting a group together of people that want to participate. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm. I'll commit to uh, assisting with the project to the degree I can. Yeah. Um, which sometimes I can do quite a bit of work, and sometimes, depending like you, right, uh, other obligations are a little nuts. Um, but I'm excited, and and also, if you need help on your other project, I'll, I'll help in in that regards to maybe giving some feedback on your structure or how you're doing your whole thing, right? I mean, I've got a different way of seeing things. So. Well, cool. uh, when you go to when you go to uh, circles, um, you can like add yourself to the circle and okay. then that'll come up on your feed, you know, when okay. you're in the circles. And like, we'll still keep updating the circles. I think we should have like a set time once a week where we just do a post for each of the circles and yeah. make sure that they're continuing to create content. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, I mean, I, I'm so want it, like my way is so like, like just go and I want to just invite everyone on Facebook right now. Yeah. Um, but it feels like it would be maybe like too soon. Yeah.
Not a good idea. Yeah, a whole bunch of people on there that nobody uses it. You're like, <laughs> I mean, when, when it launches, just just do it right. I mean, I've I, I've mastered the art of critteration, of decimating value to nothing in the wrong sequence, to the wrong place at the wrong time. Believe me, it's uh, it's uh, I, I defer to you to launch right because you, you do things right. I I just I, I do research, but <laughs> implementation's a little off. Yeah. Can't do it until we have a team. Right now we're building a whole other team in a whole other space and that needs a lot of love and attention right now. So it's sort of like, it's a bit wobbly at the moment. It's, okay. This thing doesn't happen in the way that it's happening. It has to, it, has, it is. I mean, it, I know that Phil's at the same place where Phil's got all these, he's got everything there ready. It's just, nobody has the money to like actually do anything. Right. Everyone's like, yeah, we're on board. Like he's got the whole army ready and they don't have horses, you know, or guns. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, hey, what? I got a friend who's, who's I'm helping out, who's part of a University of Victoria um, business plan program for, for First Nations people. And okay. he's looking, he wants to do vertical farms on reserves for food security. And that's his vision. And he says he has access, that place has access to some native fund that has like $8 billion. Interesting, really? Wow. And he seems overwhelmed with what he's doing. I mean, he, but he's, he's, he's I just, just thinking like, it just seems like if Phil's got the people, they've got the money, he's in place. I'm just yeah. wondering. Well, the food production is so important too, as we move forward, there's like, we already know they're, they're planning food shortages like so food production with the indigenous nations and having the medicines in their hands being able to do the work because they don't need to have any fucking health canada approval yeah. at all they're like fuck you we have no tr we have no uh, uh treaties with you there's no reason why they can't actually be helping their people right now with these medicines that are available and they're all on fucking methadone and all this stupid shit that's killing them right have you, do you know anything about the vertical farms, like the technology? I've seen, yeah, my buddy's really into it and he, he's been showing me a lot of stuff. He's designed a bunch of stuff in China. He has, he has manufacturing plants in China ready to go for all that stuff. Is, is there any chance I could introduce your friend to the, my friend? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. What's, his, what's his name? Uh, his name just flew out of my head. Uh, give me a second. Uh, Casey, Casey, Casey. So he has actually made uh, like a plant? Yeah. Like he's yeah, actually yeah. made them. Casey James. Casey James. That's perfect because that's what's missing. Casey James. Casey is the designer of the pyramid at Burning Man. Oh, really? This is his design. Look at that. Oh, you're not sharing screen. I'm not sharing so. screen. I'll share a screen again. That's oh, one of his shit. designs. Let me see everybody is. Photos of his fabrication designs. There's our pyramid. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. You have had a lot of fun. Last time. Um, you know. Where does he live? Um, he's kind of between, I think he's been hanging out in, in, in San Francisco, but he's mostly based in China. There's Mark. Oh, yeah. Um, Sharing must have some of his design stuff. Anyways, he designs all this stuff too. Like designs domes, designs pyramids, designs yeah, and the vertical farming stuff. It's like something that's really exciting for him. Designs ships on the ocean. 
<laughs> an airplane ship. What? Airplane ship dome. Um, wow. Anyways, yeah, I will. I can connect you guys. Do you want to? How do you want to do that? Um, in whatever manner that's going to work the best. I get aquaponics. Uh, he's really into aquaponics, using a fish and all that stuff. That one. Well, this one? Yeah. <coughs> yeah, he's designing the same thing for that. Do you use Telegram or what's your mode of? Aquaponics, yeah, here it is, like a vertical. Farm. I do use Telegram a little. I'm still in Facebook Messenger mostly. Okay, well, this is Facebook right now, so maybe. Facebook would be the best. So he will talk to me as a result of your introduction, I would guess. Yeah, he's a good bro. Uh, let me, if I can call him, can I call him on here? Would I knock you out? Can I try and call him? No, I think it still works. Can you hear that ring? Yeah. That's crazy. Hey, brother. Hey, man. What's happening? What's going on, man? How's it going? Good, good. Just uh, chilling here in Nevada City. Here in Nevada. Okay. Okay. Cool, cool. I love your new face, your new, uh, your new uh, profile picture there. Uh, bad boy. Badass. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm on here with my my dear brother uh, Elijah and uh, Elijah Casey. Um, Elijah's friend is uh, big into vertical farming and has a bunch of connections with the indigenous nations. And uh, uh, and I, he's looking for someone that's uh, kind of in the design and the manufacturing. And I, I wanted to connect you guys. I'm not sure if you're still involved in that in China and stuff, but Elijah Casey. Hey, Casey. Hey brother. Uh, my friend is currently going through a business plan program at the University of Victoria, and he has a, the vision of creating food security for all the First Nations reserves in Canada and wants to create like a cookie cutter type plan to bring in vertical farming in uh, as many places as possible. But he's, he's sort of, it's more of a dream, a vision of doing it, but he doesn't necessarily know how to do it. So he needs a lot of help on the original design side and just we were speaking about it with uh, Clint and that's why we're talking to you right now. Well and we're working with uh, Chief Phil Lane who's connect connecting right now he's he carries Crazy Horse's pipe he's connecting all of the Indigenous nations together to, to really work in a unified way under uh, a new um, a new global nation digital nation and so anyways yeah he, they and they're getting some pretty good funding and stuff so there's a lot of really neat connections around that. Beautiful. Yeah, well, I'm here to help on. I just got the goosebumps as you said that. Um, there's there's a lot of really cool vertical farm technology available today, and um, and of course I, I've been specializing in like the container for it, which is like the greenhouse and the HEPA system. Uh, and I designed a, a vertical system uh, about eight years ago, and uh, I have another one brewing that would be really nice too, which is more like a. Um, kind of a combo between like media beds. Or, well, are you guys familiar with aquaponics, like the, the concept and how it works? A little bit. Yeah, a little bit too, not too much. Maybe you can give us a, a better rundown. Of yeah, the well, tech. aquaponics, you know, I spent a long time going down the rabbit hole of, of aquaponics. And, and you got fully the business and dove in a half million dollars deep into like just R&D and playing with it and testing it. And, um, you know, it's kind of a hard thing to sell as a business and even the thing to replicate because, if, you know, you got to have this like chemistry down perfectly of the fish water, you know, the water that the fish in. And uh, it's hard to replicate. So I found I, I sent out about 12 different systems and some of them were really successful and others were just, they, they were okay and they were hard to monitor. And, um, and I just started working with... Uh, uh, a group that does the uh, Korean soil food web. They like they teach about how to like cultivate proper soil, and right, we're about to start doing a, a good amount of deep deep diving in like hybrid systems where 
it's basically soil, you know, about eight inches of really good soil that's cultivated through a soil program. And then underneath that is a rock layer with aquaculture water that is just like, it doesn't even have to be, um, you know, it doesn't have to be like a, a very thick, dense uh, uh, amount of, of like fish water. It just needs to be water and, and, and retained water for that matter. So we're about to do a hybrid system on our property here in Nevada City, where it's basically like eight inches of soil, eight inches of rock and uh, aquaculture water. And that's kind of, I think that's the, the new route to go because then you get all the minerals that come from proper soil. And then you get the water retention that comes as a benefit. So that's what I recommend. Wow. To towards, if you guys are, you know, Do you have any designs around that or anything? Yeah, yeah. We're, so right now we have uh, about 920 acres here in Nevada City. And we're doing a, a 49 lot development, which is basically to be a housing community farm dwelling uh, little society. And each one of these houses is going to have a vertical soil-based aquaponic hybrid system. Wow. Wow. That's, yes. that's something the, the nations need to, to see. Yes. Yeah. It's, yeah. And we're working with uh, uh, all the different tribes here, uh, specifically the, the Nisanan people who are the, the natives here in Nevada City. Okay. And, uh, and then there's a, there's a big problem with the, uh, the salmon and the, the losing population of salmon in the local rivers. So we want to replenish that and grow. I mean, I'm very excited about growing trout and salmon, not really going down tilapia route and, uh, and then going more vertical and using the infrastructure. So our next two to three years is just kind of gearing up for that and bringing up a lot of people that are going to come and like an anchor that vision. Uh, and we can replicate that anywhere because my production can step in just to, uh, to Canada, that's where you guys want to send it to. Amazing. I have a good question. So, hi, Casey. I'm this guy's girlfriend, Nora. Oh, hi, Nora. Hi. <laughs> um, do you live near Scotts Flat Lake? Are you anywhere near there? Yeah, I'm about two minutes from Scotts Flat. Do you like uh, Scotts Flat Road? Is that where um, you're? I'm I'm basically like well, I'm in downtown Nevada City. Our okay. property is is 15 miles south in near uh, Lime Kiln Road. Oh, uh, okay. We're going to be, uh, I do, I go wakeboarding there in the summers. Oh, I love it. My cousins live there. I love it. I always go see them. Uh, so nice. I know Nevada City well. <laughs> right. You better bring Clint this way. I will <laughs> totally bring him. <laughs> I mean, like soon too, because we're about to do a, a pyramid build for Burning Man in the next three months. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to be on that team, man. I would so love to do another build. Yeah. Oh my God, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. I will have to see what happens with the borders. I don't know where they're at right now, but I think they're starting to open up a bit. Yeah, June 22nd. Oh, uh, over June 22nd. It yeah, That's it sounds like they're going to open them up. So, Yay. amazing. Well, <laughs> you know, if you could send me anything, and uh, and I'd, I'd love, uh, Elijah, for you guys to connect uh, connect your friend with Casey as well. And um, I, I'd love at some point to put a meeting together with uh Chief Phil Lane, Casey, okay. and, and then to, to just explain what you're doing already. And, uh, you know, and, and just because they're, they're essentially right now looking at putting healing centers on all the nations so that they can start using ketamine and, and, and psilocybin and MDMA for healing, using towards uh, healing trauma. Oh, that's great. <laughs> yeah. So if they could include, you know, like the food production in there, I mean, that would just be such an amazing way to support them to, to rise you know and to have to be yeah. self-sufficient and there's already a lot of talk right now about like you know coming food shortages and that, that being kind of the next uh, big human uh, existential crisis potentially i know you probably heard yeah, some of that we definitely need to get it yeah I, i'm game um i'm here available so let's uh let's do something up maybe let's do like a, a uh to start it are you burning? You burning again? At, like out on the playa? Is, is that? Yeah. Is that what's going on? Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. you're gonna love it. We're um, we're designing. I'm designing a Mesoamerican pyramid, a 222 foot, foot wide, 70 foot tall uh, pyramid of the sun replica. What? Whoa. Yeah. Who's who's funding that? Uh, I'm actually going down to LA next week to um, to basically do a presentation for my camp. Wow. Uh, 
now Rainbow Lightning. So Red Lightning is now Rainbow Lightning. Is Brock still involved? Yeah, so Brock and I, and I'm, I'm trying to figure out a way to like create peace with Playa Alchemist. So maybe you can be a part of that, that like assistance where maybe we can even do like a side-by-side -side camp where I, I help them, you know, I, I give them the, did the pyramid in square tubing now. So I can build the, uh, the Egyptian pyramid to 222 feet wide as well. But then it goes 140 feet tall. So it's going to be a lot of work to build it that size. Wow. But I have to <laughs> that is huge. Holy shit. Yeah, it's big. <laughs> wow. I want, I want in. I'm, I'm in. I'm going to build. <laughs> yeah, it's good. I have, room. I have a special uh, rainbow pyramid group. So that's, uh, I'll add you to that. Are you on WhatsApp still? I'm not. I, I'm uh, of it. Is that the only, yeah, you guys have a group on there, right? Yeah, it's, it's yeah. I have a love hate relationship with WhatsApp. Um, I know, I know. I know. <laughs> Can you go to Telegram? Um, I move could, your entire group to Telegram <laughs> for me. I could probably do a Telegram group. Yeah, I'll do one too. I'll do a Telegram. I'll then, do both. Then you're not supporting Soros and you're not, you know, your data's encrypted. So it's a better. Yeah, yeah. In case you well, to we're building a rainbow pyramid at Burning Man, whatever. Yeah, <laughs> that's true, right? Yeah. Well, actually, maybe they like that. Whatever. They all go there too with all the alphabet too. Rainbow pyramid. What's the rainbow aspect? Uh, the pyramid. Uh, well, the Quetzalcoatl serpent, the rainbow serpent. Oh, I see. That's the rainbow. Yeah, the Mesoamerican. Uh, have you seen the pyramid of the sun? Yes. Oh yeah. Yeah, the rainbow of the pyramid of the sun. Holy shit! Wow. wow. Yeah, it's good. We need to <laughs> round up some mind. Uh, some some ceremonial wisdom keepers yeah yeah that's that's uh, in the works i just got back from uh from the room and uh and i've been doing you know, i just got out of ceremony here in nevada city so like I, I, we're, we're in it we're in this like prayer wow that's so good wow yeah. i was wondering where you were I'm happy to hear that you're you, doing like I, i'm pretty grounded here because I, I really can't go back to china and the whole thing is over do you still have uh, manufacturing possibilities in China? Yeah, well, ninety percent of my stuff is outsourced. So, but I'm I'm going to start making the panels here in okay. downtown. Okay. I got, I got a little spot, so we'll make all the pyramid panels uh, locally. How much is one of those closed loop systems cost? Like, what's the cost on? Uh, you know what? It really depends on on what system happens. And this new one that I'm looking at, I'm planning to make all the tanks here in Nevada City and make the framing in China. So I haven't priced it out yet, but you know, um, I don't know. It, it, it should be affordable though. If we're like starting to do work with first nations people. Yeah. Let us know. Like, yeah. Send me anything you have because I, you know, maybe we could do a pilot plant up here and, and, and as a part of our first retreat center. Yeah. I actually haven't started designing the, uh, the new system yet. There's a, um, there's a guy that's from Idaho that is, his name is Chris Trump. Have you heard of this guy before? No. He does Korean soil food workshops, basically, like teaches people how to make proper soil process. Um, he's coming here to do a workshop after Burning Man this year, after the Red Renegade burn this year. And so he's a guy, and we're actually getting deep into that design then. Um, but I can speed up the process as well if we like, you know, have some more immediate need. Uh, okay. But it, yeah, because I don't, I don't, I don't have it completely just process. I just have the, the you know, the structure. Yeah. Okay. Good well, we're just working on going public with this uh, with this psychedelic assisted therapy company, so we're pretty focused on that. But I definitely love to put these pieces together because I think the food production should be included in the plan. Absolutely. Sure. Yeah. Well, shoot. Well, what I'll do is I'll once I start going down that rabbit hole, I'll have you guys first in mind to like start setting new plans. Yeah. And There'll then, be. You know what? I, it's going to be. Um, it's going to be in the Mesoamerican pyramid. I was thinking of like the, the pyramid of the sun replica is a good, like large wide structure that can go like three or four levels up. So that, that could be a good one that we start with. Wow. That's maybe, amazing. Maybe I'll make a little re uh, rendering of it. Sure. Yeah. Whatever you can send over. And is, is Ply Alchemist planning to build this year? Did you hear? I you know what? Um, I don't know. No, I no, no. We can't build anything this year. You can't build anything over twenty feet. That's not a shade structure for the red burn. Oh, I see. So you're you're a big pyramid. The 
the Rainbow Pyramid saw getting built this year? Yeah, we're just, we're just going to build smaller versions of that. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I, I definitely am I'm about to go through some pretty deep political stuff with uh, my alchemists um, to figure out if we can merge camps. And, and uh, this is a pretty large defamation process that's still happening on Christmas behalf. So I need to, I need to like, <laughs> yeah, he's he's kind of gone rogue on me a little bit too. I haven't really, I don't know. Who, Chris or Crystal? Chris. Oh, really? Well, I mean, I we, I, I I sent him a message a while ago and he didn't get back to me. I, I maybe maybe I just need to send him another message, but yeah, I'm just my intuition is, is. So I'll I'll check in with him and see see where that's at. But yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's he's kind of an interesting character. Well, I yeah. told him I was going to go over to uh, Red Lightning. Uh, right oh, oh, you did? Before it got canceled, and so I think that really pissed him off. Ah! Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I was planning to come build with you guys this year. Of course. Well, I'm, I'm trying to figure out a way where we can be side by side. Yeah. And, um, you know, just heal that. But, you know, it, 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 <clears throat> there's a lot of, like, accepting of this weird energy, which is Crystal and Chris. Yeah, he um, mentioned something about like he was like, oh, I was like, he can. He said it was connected to like satanic energy or some. He, he was, yeah. And I, so when I told him that I was going over there, I think he, he thought I was going to the dark side. Or something. What satanic? Well, oh, because of, of dreams performance. I don't know. I don't know what it was, but he had some sort of judgment around that. Like, no shit. I, didn't, I mean, dreams performance was actually pretty awkward. <laughs> I, I I basically like. I built this whole stage. I mean, I built the whole thing for it. And then I, was, I didn't even see it. And then I saw some, I saw it the day before and I was like, this is kind of dark. Um, yeah, the whole ritual theater is now going to be around the rainbow dragon and initiation. Okay. So, so I'm, 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 I'm bringing the Oracle tribe in, not dream crew. Okay. It's going to be all okay. thing. But it's, you know, it's funny how you know, people are judgy. So. Oh, I know, I know. Well, all that stuff that happened with, uh, what's his name, the last, uh, that, um, forget his name now yeah there's just been a few of those you were one of them it's like yeah but i i think i think he really got pissed off that i was decided to go build with you guys i was just like well i built it three times already <laughs> like, like i want to go build something and you guys were going to build that the big one this year like the break the world record and I was like, yeah I was well now we're going to do that i mean basically i'm still game to do the egyptian version 222 footer it'll be 140 feet tall jeez so that's that like will be the biggest through. structure ever, ever. <laughs> um, and that'll be fun so yeah I'm, that too that's like that's everest yeah yeah that'll be everest and it's square tubing with fast clickable connectors oh nice yeah because those things were fucking hell <laughs> yeah i have a whole i'll send you the new you know what i'll send you tonight I'll they only got worse man they only got worse we had to come up with some new new designs <laughs> And cable uh, it got, was it harder like, oh it yeah well it's you know yeah yeah it was harder yeah you know how like and then you know people would miss a bolt and then the whole fucking thing would have that sag and you yeah. oh geez. yeah that's, <laughs> anyways we diverted diverted but um elijah do you have any questions or anything you want to chat with uh just whether uh we could set up a meeting with james to just discuss yeah absolutely yeah, let's set up a time um, whenever you, uh, this week is a little hard. When, when are you thinking um, with, within the month or sooner than later? Or what's your, well, sooner uh, than later, but you know, uh, within your schedule, right? Like I know people get pretty busy. So. Well, you know what, right now I'm going into a deep dive for this, uh, this pyramid showcase. So let me finish this over the next couple of days and then I'll have more to show. Okay. Uh, maybe next yeah. week, not this week, but next week. Elijah? Oh, yeah. There's a question, Elijah? Yeah. Well, yeah, just maybe not this week, but next week. You know, whenever whenever you can make it available. Right? Yeah, I'll connect you guys. And then, uh, yeah, Casey, uh, if you could, because I think it'd be great because if he's doing something that's like to, you know, showcase what we could do with the Indigenous nations, then that would be something that we could present along with some of your designs. And then maybe there's a collaboration that could, you know, slot in and he could do the kind of like the, technical version or like the, the business plan. Yeah. 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 Might be a good connection. All right. Great to meet you. Thank you very much, uh, Clint, for introducing us. Uh -huh. Yeah. <clears throat> Casey, um, I'll touch in with you again in another week or so. And, and yeah, keep me in mind for, uh, for the build.
because if great. I can cross, I might yeah. come down. I, I look forward to it. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Have a great day. Love you, brother. Love you too, man. Ciao, ciao. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Time goes fast when you're I'm trying to build things and just be the connector. I think that's what I, I like. Connect. Connect, 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 connect. Do you know Sky Jensen? No, who's that? Uh, he's a good buddy of mine. He's like a, he, his dad's like this tycoon, like land developer down in the States, but he, he's a business. He, he's, he knows, he knows uh, Rom really well. And he's, he sort of advises on different businesses, but he's really a connector. Um, good guy to know, like if there's anything you need, like developers, that kind of stuff. He's just like, boop, boop, he makes the cars and things up. So I should connect you up with, uh, with him as well. This guy, this guy would be the guy to know about developers. Do you want me to connect you with Sky? Yeah. I'll do the same thing that way. Yeah, this would be a good guy for you to know. Sky. Oh, Facebook, I have such a love hate relationship with YouTube. <laughs> It's so easy <laughs> connect with people on Facebook. <laughs> Fuck. What's up, G? Hey, brother, what's happening? Oh, uh, buddy, all the good stuff. How are you? So good. Yeah, what are you up to? Up, Ariana. Hey Ariana, nice to see you. Lori Bell from the you can't see Oreo, she's in the back. She's chilling. Hey Oreo. Oh my goodness. Hi Oreo. Look at you guys. You're packed in there, hey? <laughs> yeah, got on the bag. Let's go to ski back from St. Oh sweet. Oh my gosh. You entered back into the belly of the beast. Good work. <laughs> I hear it's like like freedom down in Mexico right now, complete freedom. Uh, you're busy. I, I'll just ask you a quick question. Um, yeah. Uh, I've got a friend who's looking for some um, some high tech developer type people. Do you have some connections for some developers? Yeah. What kind of developer? Like a blockchain. So developer? I got I got my friend Elijah on here. Elijah, this is Sky. Sky Elijah. I'll connect you guys on Facebook. But, uh, hey Sky. What? Uh, we're just a, we have a kind of like a specialized chat room program that you can sort of like, fo you can create a value, a goal, a timer. It, it creates a game within this chat room sort of uh, environment. And we almost got to the end until the programmer, his life just got overwhelmed. And so we have 144 people in England that could test it out that are kind of waiting for it. But we, we have sort of like maybe two or three days of work that needs to happen. Um, but of course, there's no funding. We're just doing it all on our own. So it'd have to be a, a developer that could jump in, do it, and then look for reward later on because there will be, but currently it's uh, on uh, gas fumes. So, okay, so you're looking for a developer or a development team, but you're, are you also looking for funding as well? Well, at some point, but not necessarily like that's, that's, yeah, of course, but right now we're, we're doing it without it kind of thing. Doing it without a what you said? We're building it without the funding. It's okay, got it. So you're in-housing the process. Um, and, you're, and what kind of developer do you need? Who, who exactly? Somebody who probably is really good at CSS. CSS, okay. All right. Cool. That's not. Yeah, yeah. I know. I know some good. Yeah, I know some good people. I know some. I mean, yeah. I know a lot of great people. In this <laughs> I mean, the larger. I spent. So I think CSS is pretty easy. So this is. I've got a lot of people in this space. So yeah. I, I, 
think you I think you'd want to look at this guy too when he's designing. It's pretty pretty ingenious, man. It's 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 and it's simplified to the way a way that it gets people to coherently start communicating and having um, like reference points to to sort of direct the conversation. Um, and it's almost like using like angel cards where you you you, you essentially it random generates uh, the the conversation. It's absolutely like. I don't know. I find it so synchronistic, so profoundly sure. magical how it works. Awesome. Yeah. Um, is or is it used for teams, like in in organizations? Yeah, could. I mean, basically any type of group could use it um, to take a, a group through a process that you go from conversation type to conversation type to conversation type. So it's a very structured conversation, and so the 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 programming like it's pretty much all already been done it just needs to be finished and then there's a there's a much bigger project behind it like i spent 25 years designing the software program that is now close to coming into being and uh, so anyone who does join in it's an exciting project like there's massive potential okay awesome um okay awesome and let's see where uh, so okay, I got a couple questions. So obviously, you're looking, you're looking for like a developer, like it's well. Sorry, I didn't hear that. I didn't hear that. You're looking for other team. team is, uh, he's wondering if you're looking for any other team as far as business development or UI UX or anything. Yes. Yes. Sorry, to clarify, just on this piece. So the, the developer you're looking for, it sounds like the certain skill that he needs to have is um, he needs to be able to run teams. He needs to be proficient, obviously, in CSS and needs to be able to run teams. Am I understanding that correctly? Well, the, the other guy who built it says he can sort of handle the IT management of the whole thing. He just needs some help for the for the actual programming. So but, but there is but there's so much potential for side products it's uh okay sure uh, okay great um so it sounds like so sounds like there is a team lead already which yeah that's good okay okay awesome that's, that's good uh so really just like one or two or any number of css developers is kind of what you're looking for yeah Awesome. Okay, cool. I understand now. Um, terrific. Is there a is there a deck or like a, something that I can see that helps me to kind of like also see what this is and where it's all going and things? Um, not a deck, but I can make a video that would explain it. Okay, that'd be great. We're I mean you know we're talking about the development right now, but if there's somewhere else in the uh, whole leg of things where I can bring some firepower. I, I don't want to know how to prepare. Okay. How maybe you and I should have a chat when you're not driving. Um okay. Yeah it'd be probably good for you to have a look at let them run it through. and then I can run you through you know a whole bunch of stuff just so you get an idea of what it is because there there's quite a lot to take in. And then and then okay. maybe from there you could design some sort of a visual deck that you could uh, share as moving forward. Okay, terrific. He needs your firepower, so, and it's I, it's it's amazing. It's a really cool system. It, it's definitely like, and it's integratable into like Zoom stuff like that. It's pretty cool. Um, do you see, uh, Clint, from what you understood the other day about Core Network? Do you think it participates in Core Network? Yes. Yeah. I I I don't think I want to go any other way. You know, it's like it's just the level at which they're designing and and what they're creating i think just be a part of it we'll have to ask, see if you know what exactly what information can be shared what can't be shared and you know I, I don't think it's a problem to just you know keep the you know the the security of people's data you know let them own their own data i don't think that should be a problem and then if they want to be a part of sort of helping to create the system or to, to, to dial in the systems you know to share that anonymously or whatever I'm sure there's ways around that. 
Awesome. Yeah. So no, it feels like I'm gonna have another conversation with Adam, but it feels like it's 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 exactly what we need, you know. And it's about a year out, so we can start developing on it. Awesome. Yeah, I I'd like to work with the guy who Sonify too and see if we can integrate that into it. So, so the therapists will have that data marker, all the that bio data live while they're with the session. Yes, with Sonify. Uh, yeah, I'm excited to share kind of the implications because we we only touched on the very first uh, capabilities of Sonify. There, there's two more. Layer was amazing. But they're really in layers. We can immediately dive into marketing. Really great. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Great. It'd be great to see what's what what's there because like we're looking at bioresonance some of that technology, some of the neurofeedback stuff, um, heart rate variability, those things. But I think Sonify sounds like it's really cutting edge. It'd be really cool to, to see if we could build that into like a second layer development and, and have that uh, being able to be used by therapists, you know, working with people globally, real time. Yeah. By the way, and, and for what? Um, Someone that we should talk with about which actually if you would if you wouldn't mind even just giving a quick rundown about what you've been creating um oh, okay. yeah Earth is, yeah you me or ariana hey Hi. <laughs> yeah so essentially we are going for an online um ketamine assisted psychedelic uh therapy uh uh, facilitation. So we'll have therapists on a platform online, uh, supporting multiple people at once. And there'll be, we'll have a sitter program so that people will be able to sit with the person that have some somatic training, um, you know, developmental trauma training, those kind of things, breath work, uh, being able to somatic work, those kind of things. Um, but then the therapist will be able to monitor multiple people and have a dashboard where they can actually see what's going on with heart rate variability stress levels things like that and have you know even eventually even having technologies where like a friend of mine has a he's working with frequency technologies that is through through a wearable where they can actually send specific vibrational frequencies to areas of the brain and and activate deep meditative states and even even samadhi even like really? yeah so what is working on it or yeah he's working on it right now yeah uh, okay. yeah it's cool because i also was looking into that like you know the the development the things they had available were they specific enough for the kind of biofeedback that i was looking for but um like certain parts of the brain bring someone into somebody yeah his name is jason getty he's working in the university of uh, uh um, ex new mexico and yeah, he's uh, he's working with a bunch of Zen meditators, and the, the results are getting it's incredible. Yeah, That's so cool. Yeah, I just got done with Dr. Joe. Um, I I work with well, I work with a coach. Um, As a coach. So yeah, it's familiar uh, heart rate, heart math, heart plays, heart, uh, coherent love. Um, and yeah, I mean, that's amazing that, stuff too. That Dr. Joe has developed bring people into med tapes on super back technology that's available. Every time I look at it, it's not quite a level I feel like it would really serve what I'm trying to do with people. Yeah. But it's developing. It's fun. That's right. Yeah. I mean even if it's a couple years out for us, it's about getting the, you know, connecting the dots with the, the therapeutic model and the ketamine because right now we can ship ketamine to somebody. And we can make it accessible because it's not accessible to have a therapist sitting there for five hours, but someone can monitor multiple people and we can have sitters that maybe it's a six month program and they're, you know, empathically with that person and going through the process with them um, while having that therapist real time live and having the data, all the biomarkers that available to them. So that if we can get that set up and then, you know, as we scale down the road, we can look at as these technologies come online, how we can you know, support them real time in during the session, you know, so. Wow, cool. There's so much, we're just at the beginning. 
It's so exciting. Yeah. It's so great. Yeah, I'd love to think back so like hear about what what the technologies are that you're working on and for sure, yeah, and we're building some resources out right now around our sort of aftercare program and having therapists that are available to to support people post psychedelic treatment. So, you know, yeah, yeah. About, about to work with um, ceremony work. Yeah. So, okay, amazing. All part. Yeah, I love it. It's, Have you done any that, like somatic therapy or trauma informed? Uh, no, training? I I actually. This is my first time really hearing about that kind of therapy. I don't know what that is. It seems to be like like uh, somatic uh, somatic therapy. Um, is uh, was created by Peter Levine, um, and he talks about how like in nature, essentially, animals naturally offload trauma, and uh, but humans have this unique ability to store to to store trauma. <laughs> but actually right. takes a lot of energy to hold that in the body. And so and a lot of it is implicit. So it happened before we can even remember. Um, so birth trauma, early stage trauma, and trauma. But that stuff, getting to that stuff takes, uh, psychedelics have the ability to help bring some of that implicit uh, trauma to the surface, but then how to understand how to offload it properly, getting them to shake, doing certain breath practices. You can activate certain things in the body by... <laughs> It's really amazing work. Yeah, That's, somatic work is incredible. Yeah, I, it's psychedelics are great at releasing that. You know, there are techniques to meditation. Dr. Joe talks about, you know, the body being fine. It's thinking for you. It's reacting for you. All happening in the autonomic system, pretty much. Then, yeah. But so psychedelics is one of the few that can, within a couple hours, <laughs> bring all of that up from the body. Yeah. So that's... Well, I didn't even know that there was, yeah, so many amazing stuff. Yeah, amazing stuff. This is Nora. Yeah. It's my girlfriend, Nora. It's Hello. Hi. Oh. oh, I don't know how to, oh, there you are. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to see you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's just really cool. And you guys are just coming back from where? From Tulum? Dr. Joe. And Dr. Joe. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
terrific. I love I love your beard, by the way. Oh, I, uh, uh, me too. <laughs> <laughs> I just kind of forgot to shave, and I remembered the other day, and I'm like, oh yeah, where's that razor again? <laughs> so I think it's getting cut soon. And we might be coming down for the rogue burn that's happening this year. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, okay. You could down could come into the States? Possibly. We might be building another pyramid there. Amazing. We'll see. We have uh, a lot going on. I don't know a lot about that. I've been hearing about the rogue burn. I don't know a lot about it. Here's about it. Is there, if you have any info on that or something you can share, I'd love to learn. I'll see if I can get okay. anything. Yeah. Okay, cool. Did you ever check out Red Lightning Did you, at the burn? Yeah, uh, I didn't go to the camper like that, but I know a lot of people who are involved in it and stuff. Yeah, like Brock is a part of it. He's from the financiers of it. Yeah. They got plans to build up. What was it? 144 foot? There's 240 foot base on this next pyramid they're building. It's going to be a replica of the Temple of the Sun. Wow. <laughs> Out of that same kind of structure, the same. Yeah, he's using more of a square tubing. It's easier connections. Mm. That stuff was a fucking pain in the ass, eh? <laughs> yeah. Wow, man. Oh my God. Yeah, that's pretty wild. I mean, it's a cool. I, I get how, yeah. I mean, I think it's, I think it's only when you're really like taking it out that you realize the issue, <laughs> perhaps. Um, yeah, we're well, putting it in with a sledgehammer is easy. Taking it out after. <laughs> yeah. That was fun. Wow. Uh, you were a trooper, was, man. Uh, yeah, I gained a lot of respect for you to be a part of that. And all the panels you did, oh my God. Thanks, man. Yeah, that was a blast. I'm so glad I got to. Yeah, I was kind of surprised that like more weren't involved. I thought, you know, whatever. I guess I would think <laughs> the way I think the world is is not always the way the world is, right? <laughs> you're a bit of a you're a bit of a legend, my brother. I was stoked. I was so excited. I'm like, we're gonna take this pyramid down. And people were like, no, you need to wait. You need to wear you need to wear a safety harness. You need to do this. And I'm like. 53rd bitches. <laughs> <laughs> We're burning man. What are you talking about? Safety. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I am safety. Did you not see this shit? Like <laughs> talked about. <laughs> uh, uh, that was a blast of fun. <clears throat> okay, we gotta run. Love you, love you. Talk to you soon. Love okay. Talk soon. Bye. Okay. okay. <laughs> you couldn't see him. Could you see him? Yeah, you were shared. Yeah, you could see him. Yeah, he's a classic. He's a classic. Don't be fooled by his hippie nature. He's, he's connected like no one else. Oh, no, he, he, he's got a great energy about him. Okay, so we solved half the world's problems. And, uh, I hope that leads to something good for you. No, thank you very much. I mean, it's it could just be a small thing for them, but massive to get this to the next step. Yeah, he's super helpful. Like he's, you know, I mean, he knows the stages of things, and like, you know, sometimes you got to put the time in, and then then things can be very profitable down the road, right? Yeah, yeah. And I mean, there's there's so much potential here, but it's just fuck just to get the freaking thing built, you know, to the littlest degree where you can go. <laughs> yeah, right. Mm -hmm. uh, and okay. it's cool. it really works. It's really neat. Okay, so um, we'll just keep in touch and- I'll, I'll connect you guys right now before I forget. Okay. <laughs> Was I supposed to connect you with Casey too, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Amazing how it's follow up from a call. It's like I get off the call sometimes and I think, I'm like, oh yeah, what about all the things that I said I was going to do? Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, the thing is, that you, you know, when you're connected so well, 
there's so many things you can do to help someone, you know, like it doesn't take much, but it's massive, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's it. Like, yeah, who knows what kind of ripple connecting your friend with Casey might make. And then he's doing, and he's doing the indigenous thing. And we're like, well, fuck, we've got like the tribes ready to go. Like, here's the system, you know, here's the business plan, the model that attached to the healing center. Well, yeah. I was thinking maybe we should connect James to Phil Lane. And oh, yeah. And to connect that into maybe their plan of, you know, because he's he just wants to set it up and maybe get the funding and then you know that yeah. could be a missing piece for both, right? Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna call Phil and ask him about that. So that's something he might be interested in looking into looking at part of the plan. That they may already have some some stuff in the works for that. But... Okay, I'm gonna set, I'm gonna set this up for you. Get these connections made. Yeah. Maybe I will. Should I call him right now? Sure. So he's he's creating a business plan for to bring food systems hydroponic farming into reserve farming into indigenous land in addition to indigenous nation Lindsay, I, I don't feel i'm dressed right for this call i know i know oh, so he's good. Nancy. Morning. good morning uncle good morning, good morning uncle how are you very good did you get a good sleep did you get a rest i got a good sleep oh good oh, good, good, good. International? Yeah, Four Worlds International Institute. Institute. Um, it's a Canadian uh, non profit charitable foundation. Okay. okay. Uh, so a check yeah, a check to five, that then would be best. 75047. 75047. Yeah. Uh, uh, Surrey, DC. Yeah. Victor or Alpha. Zero Bravo. Zero one. Yeah, got it. Okay. All right. Well, I had a long talk this morning with the former chief of the Blood Tribe. Uh, he also was head of the health for a long time, was a major player of health care. He's actually met with Shane before. Oh, he has? Okay. And, oh, yeah, he's met with Shane. He's, remember when he talked about, uh, he, about uh, a chief, or the chief of, um, oh, Eugene Fox. Eugene Fox. I don't remember that, but. Yeah, Eugene Fox. Well, anyway, he talked about him about either game, this and that. He's right about the whole things. Yeah. Well, anyway, we've talked. I'm sending him the Elder Health. He'd like himself to be the Elder Health program. Oh, nice. We'll okay. be one of the chiefs, we'll of the chiefs we bring in to bring in to um, uh, Louis Shushua. Okay. <clears throat> Amazing. Amazing. And uh, well, it's, just, it's, just happening up there. it's all coming together. I just got off the phone, Uncle. I, I know it's a little divergent, but um, uh, a fr uh, my dear friend Elijah Ignatieff, I don't know if you know Elijah. He was, he was at, oh. a, um, at, at Blessed Coast and stuff. But anyways, Elijah's been working on a project, and he has a friend who um, is in the university. He's doing a business plan um, for vertical farming um, to be able to support to build from these vertical farms on indigenous land. And I have a good friend who uh, has a, a design and manufacturing facility in China. Um, and he's been designing uh, closed loop hydroponic systems 
for food growing. And so I connected the two of them together. And so they're, you know, I just thought, well, wouldn't it be neat if, you know, along with the, these, these healing centers, if you could have, you know, vertical farming food production, you probably are maybe already have some of that you're working on that, but I just thought it was a connection for that. connect connect these two people in with you and you can see if there's something there where they can support that vision. Yeah. No, I, I think it's great. No, I I'm hundred percent because even I have this property of my parents. I have a family property. I don't really get anything from it. But uh, it's there but it's pure organic. Oh, wow. Ten acres the most beautiful, most rich place you can ever imagine. Oh wow. In uh, Walla Walla. Walla Walla. Because Walla Walla is just like a you're huge, of course, it's a great soil. Yeah. Beautiful. Maybe there's a you know a test facility or something that can get started and then see something that could be easily replicated. But these systems he's got are pretty, pretty. You can mobilize them pretty quickly. Um, you know, the design and everything, how it all works and functions. It's all vertical farming, but it does also use the soil and then. It uh, uses like fi fish and closed loops, so everything runs itself. Really neat. Um, anyway, so I just wanted to yeah mention that to you because um, I can I can connect you together because he's he's developing the plan the business plan for that. And that's his his dream and vision to support have this built in and support more of the uprising strengthening of the, of the people. Are you are you gonna be in the meeting tomorrow? Tuesday? Uh yes. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm going down going down over here eleven. You have a ride in um, No, I'm gonna I, you know no as far as that goes, I don't see why you know they kind of want correctly one of people's being out correctly being with the uh, uh, directly meet with uh, let, let me just check this out with Shelly. Okay. Because it might be, if you went to stand by here, the author will explore on the end. Yeah. We were, we were, we were, we were possibly going to just be on Zoom because we I have a client. I'm doing a session at, okay, yeah, okay. just after okay. that. So, no problem. but okay. if, if you don't have a ride, let me know. Uh, Ian on my video Zoom. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Have you had Have you had a uh, chat with Ian personally about everything? About uh, have you had a, Have you had a chance to have a talk with Ian about everything from his point of view, where everything's at? Ian. Yeah, with Chief. Yeah. 
<clears throat> yeah, we need we need doctors that are trained in somatic therapy as well to understand. A lot of doctors are not. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Getting, getting, we can get, which by the way, he's, he's open to it. We can get Sandra up here behind this. I mean, we're not talking it's just about our protocols. He's good at all the protocols. When you have a good person like him, my God. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, totally understand that piece. You need the doctor just to, just to make sure that everything is done safely as far as make sure you monitor the heart and monitor the blood pressure and monitor just make sure that their, you know, their health is ready for it. They're able to stand up. But yeah, we also need really high trained uh, you know, th therapists that are not necessarily doctors, but that are that have an understanding of empathic listening and presence and being able to work with them and work with the breath, work with the, you know, some of the, the shamanic dearmoring techniques and things that we we do to to unlock and activate some of the emotional stuff. It's just you know it takes it to a whole other level. But having a doctor on site, even if it's multiple people session one doctor that can can oversee you know make sure that everything's done you know according to the yeah. protocol and, and also for the for the so that they feel secure yeah but the one thing is the other person i'm thinking about is national authority because she's 44 years registered nurse and has her master's in counseling and so she's been through four sessions now through tennessee doctor is she, she, she will make indigenous people feel, feel comfortable right. because you, just, you have to have someone who really knows indigenous people with them or they mm -hmm. can tell it mm -hmm. and have made you know, because they're, they're so hyper in some cases it's very very hyper cautious because of what's happening right 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 yeah uh, that's that's so anyway, let them all we have time to work that out yeah 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 that's that. all So universal, I would mean, is, you know, they're going to have that conversation with you. Next dimension yeah, is, right. Right. Yeah. next dimension is, yeah, but I, what I, what I see is having you as a founder of next dimension and that next dimension is, yeah. is we start with Kennedy and then we move into the protocol as things, as we, you know, pr prove it out, prove the model out on, on the, on the indigenous lands, but also, you know, do some of the testing, but that this protocol is actually the next dimension and we use we can use some of these other you know the modalities the sort of social care programs to make sure that no matter what people are having the most incredible experience and are able to uh, come into states of health because the psychedelics one aspect is a lot of these other therapies and you know, the stuff that you did like healing the hurts like the somatic stuff is really important you know so yeah so, so what I've, I've been sharing a lot with Shelly I've been using a lot of help so so I said, okay, what we have here is a continuum right from the streets of East, like the pieces of East, uh, East Hastings, right through that, that program. Now, during that four months, you know, where, by the way, four months ago, you're coming out of Oscar, or whatever, we have a four month process of people preparing themselves, getting ready to work 100%, and then we have what I call uh, a spiritual education. Beautiful. That's a into a new spiritual journey. Beautiful. A new life. So to be a process that brings you to a re being reborn. Huh. But we have to, so we have to, we don't want to have the entire spectrum from beginning to end because what happens even with the Ivy game, they they lose 50% in the process. Yeah. In terms of we'll go back to being addicted again. Oh, yeah. Well, they, they don't have, yeah, that's what he's saying, you know, he's saying, you know these and this is the thing right and the, the thing you have to know about the universal advocate is that the, the ceo is, is, is comes from 